All right, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Tread Tribulations. Last time, we threw all kinds of accusations at the the, the lady known as Miss Foster, and now we're gonna go into recess because uh, she's collecting herself in the lobby. I think, yeah. So yeah, let's continue. I don't remember if I read this or not, but I'm going to read it again. Well, we'll have to wait for Miss Foster to compose herself before we start again. Until then, the squad is in recess. So the defense and prosecution are instructed to wait in the lobby. Yes, Your Honor. Understood. Very well, the squad is in recess. To be continued. <laughs> uh, right this second. Fuck, I didn't mean to save. Oh well, too late. That's fine. Yeah. February 16th, 1.14 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 4. Mr. Ah, Falls, you... I... Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to say thanks. You're real good. You really hooked me up. Thanks. <laughs> We're almost there. Once I prove that she committed the crime... Yeah, but there's one more big obstacle we gotta get past. A obstacle? Yeah, motive. Why'd Melissa Foster kill that policewoman anyway? Motive, huh? Anyway, we still badly need information. Information, right. What we need most is info about this Melissa Foster herself. All we know is she's a student studying literature. One more thing. What is it? Well, the incident that happened five years ago, of course. The kidnapping murder case that Zebra Boy is on for on death row for. I do nothing. I don't kill nobody. I never lie. Mr. Falls, in that case, tell us more about it. About what happened five years ago. Okay, I trust you. That day, five years ago, I dream of it every day. This picture reminds me of ev reminds me everything. Bridge looks same, just like then, five years ago. Like it could fall apart, fall apart any minute. So it's been broken like that for at least five years. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you sound like the one that could fall apart at any minute. It's true. I did. I did kidnap her. Five years ago, I kidnapped my girlfriend, Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh. 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 Foreshadowing. Yes. Because she's crazy. Yup. Y your gr girlfriend? Huh? Hey, hold on there. Did you say Hawthorne? The victim's last name. Dolly Hawthorne, Valerie's little sister. What? Are you serious? The girl, let her go. Shut up. C come closer, and I kill her. Sorry, but you're not going to get the chance. The detective back then was Valerie Hawthorne. At first, I thought shooting someone for a kidnapping was crossing the line, but... What? <laughs> okay, fine. If it was to protect her little sister, I can understand why she did it. Ra, no protect sister. Valley betray me. Betray us. What do you mean she betrayed you? Everything. All lies. All make-believe. Kidnapping, too. A make-believe kidnapping? 
Dahlia, my girlfriend, my love, my teen angel. <laughs> uh, did he actually say my teen angel? He's seen one too many soap operas. I do ever think she says anything Dahlia says. Anything Dahlia says? H hold on a minute. What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by... Yeah, me and Dahlia. And Valerie, too. Valerie was in on it? Dahlia's family rich. Jewel business. We get one jewel. That's what we thought. Me and Dahlia wrote kidnap note. We send her a dad. Ask for two million dollar diamond. Tell them make exchange on Dusky Bridge. We tell them Valerie make transit so she knew detective. I mean, a policeman in your pocket is a useful thing, alright? In the end, you're playing on splitting the two million three ways, huh? Yeah, but that woman! That woman! Valerie! She do it for real! She shoot at me for real! Me and Dahlia! I was shot an arm. Dahlia, she jump in river. Jump? You don't mean she jumped on purpose, do you? I could do it. I could never push her. Anyway, I blocked out. We got the police all over. And that's when they decided to give you the death sentence. I couldn't believe it. That woman, she betrayed me. That man, Terry False, he killed her. He threw her off the bridge. He threw my beloved sister into the roaring river 40 feet below! It's five years. All I wonder is why? 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 Why did she lie? That's what I want to know. That's why you called her. I want to hear the truth from Valerie herself. Yes, but I forget what she looked like. But I told her to wear a scarf. I don't want to hurt her. Just ask why. Why? Why did you lie? Why did you betray me? I just want to hear answer from her mouth. That's all. So that's why. That's why you made a crazy escape like that. Just one thing, Zebra Boy. Listen to tingling all over. Tell me, Mr. Falls. Where is it? Huh? Where's what? The diamond. Come on now, kitten. The ransom. The two million dollar diamond. Remember that now? Give it back to Pops. The police take it. I don't know. Huh? You don't know? No, really. I don't know. It's gone. With Dahlia. With Dahlia? That day, on the bridge. Dahlia put it in backpack. Now gone, with Dahlia. Gone, forever. Into Eagle River. Hmm. Hmm. It disappeared with Dahlia, huh? Wait a minute. You can get back in now. We're ready to go. Mr. Falls, just one more question. When you said with Dahlia, do you mean the diamond is still missing? Along with the body of Dahlia Hawthorne? Never found her, my sweet Dahlia. They never found her. Swan by river, gone. Dahlia, my teen angel. <laughs> Your teen angel. How old was she anyway? Just fourteen. Um. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fourteen. I guess you were robbing cradles before diamonds. Funds of fake kidnapping disappears in the river with a rock worth two mil. Oh man, oh man. Angels these days. Falls takes the fall. It gets a one way ticket. Uh, 
Is Dahlia Hawthorne an angel, or is she really, uh... It's time, kitten. Looks like we have a few more aces up our sleeve now. You bet! We got a diamond. Not really. It's probably just a, a, like a memory record thing of it. it. Yeah, that's what it is. The train was come off now, Mia. It's time to strike while the iron is hot. That's one of my rules. Remember it. <laughs> yes, of course, Mr. Armando. <laughs> February 16th, 1.49 p.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Now then, let's continue with the trial of Mr. Terry Falls. Quinness, you feeling better? Yes, Your Honor. I'll try my best. Hmm. You're a brave young lady. Not this again. <laughs> Kim was in a defense lawyer wanting to get her client off the hook. However, trying to pin the crime on an innocent student is... What are you talking about? The witness is not the person on trial here. He's an innocent bystander who wins a violent crime. That's all. What possible reason for a girl like this to... do ha... I lost words. Hold on. <clears throat> what possible reason would a girl like this have for murdering a policewoman? Hmm, it's certainly hard to imagine this woman as a murderer. Her motive, huh? I figured that's what I had to establish next. Well, Miss Faye, do you have any evidence of a motive? Er, uh, yes, of course. I think. <laughs> You're still acting as tame as a kitten. Kitten. Mr. Armando. Listen, a lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Smiling on the outside where it gets you twisted in knots is the mark of a pro. Maybe so, but I wish you would quit grinning at me like that. Hmm. Um, excuse me, may I speak, Mr. Judge? Of course, Mr. Judge is ready anytime you like. Okay, then. Okay. <laughs> I'd like... I'd like to say something. Some people here are suspicious of me, right? But that's why I... I at least wanted you, Mr. Judge, to know that it's not true. Hmm, I see. You're an honest and upstanding lady. Like this witness is a real professional. What do you mean? Look at that 100 watt smile. Just when things are darkest for her, click, she lights right up. But well then, let's hear what the witness has to say. Hmm, what's the fastest history? I, I was out of the country until the year before last. Until I entered college, I had never even been to Eagle Mountain before. And I certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer. Holding a grudge and killing the officer who testified against you five years ago. Or kidnapping a poor girl? I just think the defendant is a terrible, horrible monster. Hmm. Out of the country, eh? Precisely. Furthermore, she has no possible motive for committing murder. Hmm, indeed. Rip the bat, kitten. Shut in those claws and put on your best smile. You bet. Somehow I have to tie her to this case. Hmm. Well. She was out of the country, huh? Yeah. Do we have it? Well, I'm gonna take a look at this evidence we have. Yeah. So we have the autopsy report, the bridge, the scarf, witness photo, the victim note, got a chunk of the car, got the camera, and the diamond. And that's it. Hmm. 
Oh. I would press on this. Press this, yeah. So, what country were you living in then? We were all living abroad, but after my parents were killed... It's a brutal civil war. She had to try to make her way back home alone. I lost everything. I didn't even have any personal identification. <laughs> what kind of sob story is this? What do I do? Should I press her for details? Uh... Um, I mean... It, it depends, because, like, usually you want to press on this stuff, but, like... They might get mad if at it's us. Not gonna, yeah, yeah, if it's not going to go anywhere, or if we're going to get a penalty, then... They haven't maybe, been super strict uh -uh. about it. They haven't, like, yelled at us about it, so I think it'll be okay. Uh... Yeah. Wait, what do you think? Mm. I mean, if we get a penalty, it probably won't be that bad. Yeah. Oh. Uh, go for it, I guess. Go Let's for it. Witness, answer my question. I'll even repeat it for you. What country were you in? Hey, yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Your Honor, this line of questioning is childless. What country is she in and how many languages she may speak are irrelevant here. We are to evaluate whether this witness has any connection to this case. I've lived abroad ever since I was a little girl. That's why I could never have known Mr. Falls or Detective Hawthorne. Yes, I think we've established that point. Yes, indeed. Oh, then. Should we add that we use state to the official testimony? Yes, please, Mr. Judge. Uh, okay. Uh. Well, yeah, that's important. That's important. E yeah, but it doesn't really... I mean, that's the thing, is like... Well, what does pressing on that do, exactly? Oh, we'll see. You didn't know either person? Are you certain of that? Yes, I'm afraid I'm rather shy around people. Hmm. Oh well, that can't be helped. Why is he just agreeing with everything that comes out of her mouth? <laughs> First time we saw you was there on the bridge, correct? Yes, it really was a coincidence. Uh. Mm -hmm. We could just like press everything and see where it gets us. Mm. Or skip this and do this one. <laughs> or the other one. Hmm. Um, I would... Hmm. Press on the statement before this. Hmm. A grudge? Well, the policewoman's testimony was crucial, wasn't it? Crucial in getting the defendant sentenced to death. Yes, and that's probably why we harbored such a deep anger against her. So much anger that he forgot his own guilt. Objection! My client has always maintained that he's innocent of those charges. He seems rather forgetful. Your client, I mean. Not only did he forget about what he did, but he forgot the poor policewoman as well. What do you mean by that? Your client, you forgot 
have what the detective looked like, right? It's too bad for her that he didn't forget about her testimony as well. Well, she's right about that. Mr. Falls is kind of forgetful. Press this? You said he forgot what the detective looked like. What do you mean by that? Well, he couldn't tell who she was without some sort of... Some kind of identification, right? Quite right. That's why the victim was wearing a scarf for identification. Why, if I had been wearing a white scarf that day... He probably would have tried to kill me. Hmm, that's true. He's clearly a better man. This is bad. Mr. Fall's reputation just keeps getting worse and worse. Actually, this is quite good. Sometimes it's best not to poke too deep. What should I do with that statement? I'm adding the I'd statement. I'd have that added, yeah. Your Honor, what the witness just said now was tremendously important. I'd like it added to the official testimony. But she has no objection. After all, the defendant is a killer and a mentally unbalanced one at that. The testimony only helps further prove that point. Hmm. No, that's <laughs> not why I... Enough. Witness, if you would. My pleasure, Mr. Judge. Yes, okay. I'm lucky I wasn't wearing a white scarf. I suppose you were. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> next time we come back to Phoenix Wright, Trial and Tribulations, uh, we'll see if it wasn't so lucky. Maybe it, <coughs> maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, bye. <laughs>